Okay, page 10 of the BA manual books that you have. So let's go through this exercise. Total sales amount in July 2018. So I'm doing it based on the sales transaction July 2018 Excel file. Okay, total sales July. So the Excel function should be equal to the sum. So total sale meaning that you have to refer to this column, column G. So drag everything. Go back to the formula. So just enter. Okay, second question. Number of transaction occurred in July. Okay, number of transaction meaning that we want to know how many how many times transaction happened in the month of July. So we have to refer to any of this column, I, I'm choosing this column. So the, the Excel function should be equal to count. Just count, not count if. Okay, go back to the formula. Count in bracket the column. Enter four seven two. Number three. Number of transaction for show. Okay, so here we have a criteria here show. So Excel function is count if. Because we have one criteria, it is just count if. So show should be in this in this column. So select, drag down everything. Okay, go back to the formula. So the criteria is show. So, 122 shawl sold in the month of July. Okay, next, number of transactions paid with amount more than 20 ringgit. So here the criteria is more than 20 ringgit. So Excel function should be count if. So 20 ringgit refer to this column, column G. So you drag everything in column G. Go back to the formula and the criteria is more than 20. Okay, let's see. So there are 224 transactions done with an amount more than 20 ringgit. Okay, next number of short transactions done through online shop. Number number of short. Through online shop. Okay, here if you can notice, we have shop as first uh, as the first criteria, and online shop as the second criteria. So we are using count if with s. 
Why with S? Because we have two criteria. Okay, so we start with show. Show is in this column. So we select everything in this column. Okay, now the first column has been selected show comma and put the criteria in s h w l show okay comma again so now we have the second criteria is online shop so online shop belong to this column column f so let's select everything down Go back to the formula. Okay, second criteria will have to be on line shop. Okay, 98. But remember, there should be a space here. If there are two words online shop, for example, there should be a space in between the two words. Okay, now next type of item. Type of item for order one o two one three. Okay, for this question, it requires us to look for the type of item ordered by this customer. So one o two one three is the customer ID. So we want to know what is the type of item bought by one o two one three. So, in doing so, to do to do this question, we have to use the function which is called VLOOKUP. Okay. V stands for vertical. Okay. Equal to VLOOKUP. So straight away, you have been given this choice. So just click. Okay. So there are three things that you have to put in this formula. First the lookup value so we are looking for order customer id 10213 okay comma you have to select the whole range starting from the left starting from the left just drag everything Okay, comma. So the last thing that you have to put is the, the column, the column number. So type of item is under the column product. So column product is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Column number eight. So I'll put here eight. So now we know that customer with the ID number of 10213 order Syria as a product. Next, also you have to apply the functions of VLOOKUP. Cost per order 
Okay, V lookup. Again, we start with the customer ID or the value that we are looking for. 10213, comma. Again, select the whole range. And column number so order cost cost should be in this column column G so column D should be number seven I guess let's count it one two three four five six seven yes number seven okay 24.5 okay so that is how the, you have to approach this kind of question because uh, the Excel function of uh, sum, the Excel functions of count, the Excel functions of count if, and the Excel function of count if with s, and lastly the Excel functions of v lookup.